I have this galvanized rooster that I got from Hobby Lobby. It was originally $5.99. But if you hit the week where they do their 40% off on all of their metal decor, then you will get 40% off of the $5.99. Now I started by painting it with some Wise Owl white primer. The primer adheres to the metal, so if you wanted to do another color, I do suggest that you prime and then paint. But I'm just going to keep it white, so I just did a coat of the Wise Owl Primer. And then I allowed that to fully dry. Once dry, I took my Wise Owl 1 Hour Enamel Clear. Now we do sell a 4 ounce 1 Hour Enamel Clear on our webpage for anybody that would like to try that. And I'm just applying it with a small art brush. The Gen Foam brushes work good as well. And you want that to fully dry. I have a Delicate Roses Prima Decor Transfer. This is one of the smaller ones. It comes with three sheets total. But it is much smaller than the original ones. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut out some of the different roses. And as you can see, there is a protective white backing and you're going to peel that off and then you're just gonna lay the clear sheet that has your decor image on it and I'm gonna place it on the galvanized metal now there are little rivets in this metal so when I lay it down I just focus on pressing it into the little rivets before rubbing over it And I'm going to repeat that until I have the rooster fully covered with some of the Delicate Roses transfer. Now these transfers do not come with a rubbing tool. This is one of our transfer tools. But you can also use a popsicle stick to rub them off. And as you rub, the image sticks to your surface. And then the clear sheet lifts. Now there are parts of the tail here that I'm just rubbing away where we don't need the transfer. And this transfer had some smaller flowers as well and the leaves. So I just fully decorated that. And once the transfer was on, I took more of my Wise Owl One Hour Enamel Clear, and this is what I used as a top coat. And you want that to fully dry. I have two small 4x6 canvas boards. I got these right from the Dollar Tree. And I have a Cricut vinyl sheet. You can also find these other name brand ones at Hobby Lobby. And I'm just going to trace my canvas. And I want to cut two sheets, for one for each canvas. And I'm just cutting that out. And then I'm going to remove the backing, and I'm just going to lay the vinyl down on top of the canvas board. Now, if you find one large canvas board, that would work as well, but the two smaller ones worked perfect for the next step of my project. And I just repeated that so that I had two canvas boards covered with the Cricut vinyl. I got this picture hanger. It was $3.50 from Dollar General, and it has the chicken wire in it. And you're supposed to hang pictures from the jute and clothespin. But I removed that. And I'm going to glue the canvas in the space where you would hang your picture. So I'm just adding some hot glue to the top and bottom of the frame here. And then placing the canvas on top of that. And then I'm just going to take one large popsicle stick and I'm just going to add this just to give it more support. I 
I then took my rooster and some E6000, and I adhered the rooster to the front of the frame here. And there we go. Now we have this very easy, fun rooster wall hanging. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Paint products, transfers, tissue paper, and stencils can be all found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can also check out other tutorials while you're there. Have a great day.